Why did they call it a ground fault when it's really a neutral fault or more correctly, a source fault? No wonder people get confused. Well, Article 100 definitions, we're talking about where electrons leave the source and there's a ground fault and there's an effect of ground fault current path to return back to the source. Why? Because it's a definition in Article 100 and this is what they call it. An unintentional electrically conductive connection between the phase conductors and the normally non-current carrying conductors would be like an equipment grounding conductor, metal parts of an enclosure, raceways or equipment. So in other words, they gave it a name, but Mike, why did they call it a ground fault? Because if you look at that graphic, you can see fault currents not going to ground. Listen guys, I don't even want to go there. But you can go to mikeholt.com, go to videos, go to grounding and bonding, watch the first video and it gives you a little bit more history of why we use the word ground fault. Just, it's what it's called and that's what we're going to call it. So now, let's just review it again. When you have a ground fault, fault current leaves the source through the meter can, to the main, to the panel, to the outlet, to the load, ground fault, going on to this path, which is called the effective ground fault current path. Now watch, the effective ground fault current path includes that neutral conductor. If you lose a neutral tool service, you're screwed because there's no way to clear a fault. We see electrons, as that fault current's returning here, the electrons, the, fault, the ground fault current is not going to the ground rod and going across the earth and then coming back up. Okay, fine. For those of you guys that really know what's going on, like May, Mike, come on, what are you talking about? If you have the service grounded at this location here and you have the source grounded at this location here, when the ground fault current is returning back over to the source, depending upon what that impedance is on that neutral, impedance, need to know theory, five ohms or 30 ohms, whatever the number might be, your neutral conductor is going to be many, many, many times lower impedance than the parallel earth return path. And so for that reason, we ignore the value of the effective ground, we ignore the grounding electrical conductor current because that's gonna be like one, two amps, three amps, four amps, maybe at the most, where your neutral conductor might be carrying hundreds, if not thousands of ground fault current back to the source. Hopefully that helps you understand the term ground fault current. It's just a term, it uses it, tells you what it is.